and groups here in New Mexico want local government officials to take action. Action 7 News reporter Andres Valle is live with their demands. Doug Shelley, right now there's a memorial visual currently happening on the UNM campus. There's a small group kind of forming uh, set to mourn the lives lost in Gaza since the war began. And as that war continues to ramp up between Israel and Hamas, another group is asking U.S. representatives here locally to stand with Palestinians. A group made up of Jewish and Palestinian backgrounds outside Representative Melanie Stanbury's Albuquerque office demanding one thing. There is a resolution in the House of Representatives calling for a ceasefire. And we would like her to support that resolution. We know that our tax money is going to support more weapons, and we don't want that. We want peace. We want an end to the violence. Right now, thousands have died in Gaza, caught in the crossfire between Israeli forces and Hamas fighters. Israel declaring war after Hamas attack earlier this month that Israel says killed more than 1,400. President Biden stirred on his position to support Israel in the fight. Later this week, I'm going to ask the United States Congress for unprecedented support package for Israel's defense. We're going to keep Iron Dome fully supplied so it can continue standing sentinel over Israeli skies, saving Israeli lives. And as the U.S. government continues to support Israel, this group in Albuquerque is calling what Israel is doing a genocide. It says another Jew against genocide, not in my name. I want to show that, that there are Jews asking for a ceasefire. I want to show that we, we want to come together, and this, this isn't a divisive issue. I think it's abhorrent that Biden isn't putting, putting a stop to the genocide. I think he, he absolutely needs to ask for ceasefire. It's, it's disgusting. And so far, that vigil is just getting started, and it's pretty peaceful right now. But everybody I spoke to is also just wanting to pray for that peace in the Middle East. But for now, reporting live at UNM, I'm Andres Valle for KOT Action 7 News. Congresswoman in office sending us a statement. Congresswoman Melanie Stansbury is grateful to the protesters who are raising their voices and concerns to her office. She has always stood on the side of human rights and will continue to advocate for more than just foreign policy.